Radiant Team Pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five Ten seconds, seconds remaining. remaining. Five seconds remaining. Kinker! Next 10, 15 minutes, you can say, right? Or at least grab a single rack. Yeah. You want to be able to open up the base before that point. So I think with how well this little druid's done at bottom, Matama Man's going to get gone on. They need some help here. Liquid, they don't have their death profit. Oh, curl! Oh, no. He went through the relocate out, but I think he thought he wasn't going to be able to get Matama Man uh, because of the Cyclone. But No Tail actually canceled that one so that he could jump on the Brewmaster, and as a result, they actually brought my control away. Curl will now end up dying. It's a cute play, attempting to use the Hawk to tether away to save Deep Flight. Not enough distance in the world to be able to keep Curl alive. That's a pretty big kill for OG that they just got for free. The DP shows up top, and as a result of them pushing out the lane, it was hard for him to survive this crit. He's gonna find the angle now. He does have enough damage for this. Yeah, with Miracle seeping in, looks like Mana. Yeah, he's done for. Slowed down by the Infernal Blade, the extra heat seeking missile could come in, but it's not even necessary. He grabs the old scepter right before he dies. And all these mini ganks are helping out. He single handedly set up a kill uh, with a two man gank thanks to that boots of travel mechanic. Oh, Moon's gonna get spotted out, but leaves down the floor. Relocated on behind. Moon actually tries to turn, but he's already been silenced up, so he brings the mana out of spends everything he had. So Liquid are actually gonna pick up a pretty nice payday. Not only kill No Tail, but they also kill the rest of the. Uh, the rest of his mini food rather. Sorry, my control at the bottom lane. Doom is placed on him. They're gonna try and go for Cloud in the background to actually pop the final split to be able to get this one. They should be able to hold Curl long enough. And it's a question of whether or not my control can actually get away. The Doom's gonna wear out in the next few seconds. He also still has the Aegis, so I don't think OG are feeling comfortable chasing him down. But they have the Lone Druid cutting across now. Matumba Man is looking to get the body block onto Crit, brings this bear nice and close to this percentage chance, and no root whatsoever. Won't allow them to be able to keep pace. Liquid have to go on the pipe, but I think something about this. Wait, wait. Oh, Jarek came out. Doom got the Doom stolen and will be able to cast on Miracle for the free pickoff. That's what we're talking about. A preemptive setup. Miracle, Miracle certainly did not expect that whatsoever. I can't believe Jarek found him in the tree line, too. Yeah, that was beautiful. Anticipating that movement as OG already make their way up. And I think I misspoke after I saw the draft. I should apologize just because if you look at Liquid's lineup, they still have three cores. And yeah. if you can't defend both sides, yeah. so on them. Gets, uh, guaranteed chip damage, maybe. Mind control, facing forward, takes a lot of damage there. They do get some damage onto the tier three, thanks to the Spear Bear, but now here comes that laser. Now Miracle's doing it. <laughs> He's like, oh, bro, you, you thought I couldn't defend both? Yeah, March the Machines on one area, laser on the other. Yeah, go down. Mana's below. All right, more, more damage. Hurry. Progression for Liquid. We're just shouting hurry. He's got a heal. Uh oh, the Pumpa Man actually caught out here. Now they get the Pumpa War on the crit. Maybe the Pumpa Man can get an escape for the back. Maybe if both go down, Spear Bear goes down. It actually kills out the Pumpa Man. And they get the Doom on the Jarek. No more pets. He's fail and steal. And now it looks like Vada as well as Zero in a nasty spot against the Brewmaster. They actually stop the Cyclone. Meanwhile, Jarek is going to be cleaned up. And he carries on that Doom. Back to bottom lane. No tail. Silence up. Will continue his progression on the Pumpa But now the Spear Bear proves to be too much. Long time the Exodus is up. And No Tail overextends himself against Vada, gladly TP out. They gained something out of the fight against OG because it looked pretty nasty. Yeah. Well, maybe they've got the Tumble Man, managed to doom him up. The Spear Bear is still good, but the Tumble Man very rapidly is going to fall. They do have to get a back out, but the Tumble Man is definitely dead liquid. And now the question of what can they get in return? Kuro is actually going to be brought pretty low here by the Brewmaster trying to chase him down, but Vada comes forward, managed to get the Spirit Siphon on a crit. Will be able to turn on to him, a one for two so far. And Miracle trying to slow down the rest. Jarex pops the Brewmaster ult that he had on his own, but it looks like it's not enough to be able to save fly. He still goes over right here. No tail. Vada actually managed to pick up the Brewmaster still after that ult, but Jarex yeah. almost popped. There it is. Missiles and the axes from long range. OG. Do get that one, a three for three, but it costs Vada his exorcism. Would you say wrap around behind this chair one tower, and see if they can get a favorable engagement. But currently, Liquid holds up in a really good position. The spare bear right on the staircase. 
while OG looked to be able to engage through the secret shop. This is still a clutch area. They will manage to get the Doom out of Nevada. All they also can manage to get the Primal Roar on the chair. It looks like they want to be able to pop him with the help of Primal Split. Two heroes already down for Liquid. Turn around, Primal Roar. Jerry's actually managed to escape. They got off the ultimate too. Now he controls Chris. A useful escape that might be able to buy Liquid. Now Miracle, not a miracle, is getting a lot of damage out with the Marching Machines. Can see the bear. And on top of him, he needs to be able to run away from this bear. They threw the bear with the Inferno Blade. Look it down. Chris is trying to run himself away from Matumba Man. But looks like Matumba Man should be able to get this kill. The laser helping him out with the race. Oh, Miracle's the real key out. here. Miracle is so damn low and will have to go back to base. The rest of OG look to retreat as they force yet another hit and run engagement that is favorable. It's a smoke both times used by OG, but opportunities to push high ground. That's what Liquid are going to do right here. Our pipe going on to that tier three, the paralyzed attack. It's going to cause some issues here. The pipe goes down. My control is going to be the one pushing forward alongside Bear to take out this tier three tower. They will be able to fly immediately. Gets rooted up and looks to be tripped down. And you know, the top of man has to pull it back. Now the initiation from the right hand side. OG managed to make the initiation. They're going to go for Kuro. Managed to take him out as well as Jerry. Two supports the liquid. Are gone. And the top of side already down to half HP. The laser bouncing around. But top of man is low. But OG are running out of firepower. He can't continue their push forward. Now liquid had the chance to be able to go for some rest. My control is going to go for fly. And force down gets him out. But top of man will finally go down. They managed to get the pound of right on the body. He doesn't have any. Chase goes down, Silas gets off, but he doesn't seem to go. His dual scepter is only going to buy him a pinch of time. And they are OG. Turn to right click him down, but my control still going strong. A little bit less than half HP. Can't keep on going, apparently. It's Miracle again, keeping up the laser. New Spirit Bear is going to go and take out the Brewmaster with a quick fast. Will be able to get that one, and now Fly rooted up. Again, of course, that, but this time around, Fly will die. Miracle coming back into play, but oh, my will pop the BKB. And Miracle well, looking for to chase him down while well, that BKB is still up. Probably very disciplined. After. It seems very disciplined by Liquid the fact that they pretty much are always Kuro and Mind Control bottom and three uh, elsewhere. Grit is going to be slowed down by the Shivas, but I think he's still okay, especially with the four staffs helping him out. And Wake is on the side of. Oh, the war actually down. going out. Kuro, he's uh, going to get popped almost immediately. Now the jump in by no tail. They already have the Doom out on Fadi. He managed to get off the extra system, but it looks like they may still be able to focus him down. Doom ends up going down to return, but I think he killed Fadi. Yes, Miracle does manage to get it, but it's out of mana. The rest of Liquid may still be able to push forward. Fly, unable to do anything while he took Jerix's stolen Doom. Take another ultimate stolen in the box for Liquid. And it's now the keep going. We're going to go to the high ground here. Reinitiation by Moon. Miracle's almost ready to go. Moon, he managed to get the stun on him. Oh, the Thunder Roar! He managed to get the Thunder Roar on the Nose. No follow up there. Now the burn is left entirely on Miracle. Yes, he managed to get the kill on the support, but how can he stop the two big tanky heroes of Liquid? A Tumble Man is being chased away by uh, both Miracle and Moon, but the Spear Bear is drifting on the Moon. They might be able to get a die back on the Moon if possible. Miracle recharges that laser, hoping he'll be able to stop this one. Goes for a Tumble Man instead. Another round of nukes, but he has to blink himself away from mind control. The control too dangerous to deal with. So Liquid. many gems on the ground. They're all over the place. Mind control with Maledict on him and Lone Druid just a bit too low. They have to back out, but they six slot. Do you start considering Scythe of Vice in there at all? It doesn't feel like you can get rid of any of these items. Mind control. Oh, there's the Doom initiation. Managed to get it off of Matumba Man. Chris hoping to be able to chase him away. And now the Brewmaster actually jumps in. So they're controlling Mind Control. Jarex will end up going down to Crit in the help of the Moon. Now they use another Primal Roar. Able to get the other support of Liquid under control. Can't tether away. And now Matumba Man comes back in. Eats the cheese. Underneath the Death Ward. He just doesn't care. He really wants the kill on Crit. Crit will be corralled into the jungle and finally taken out. But they've expended so much. Mind Control down to half HP. But that's still 2,500 health on Mind Control. So he keeps on going forward inside the fight. Being used and control him, but no tells just hoping to be able to get out, but he slowed down. Spirit Siphon as well as the Sage Proc manages to hold him in place. And maybe, just maybe, Liquid can take their first set of racks. Five acts start coming out from OG. Immediately, Abyssal Blade used on the crit, slow down with the clap, but it doesn't matter. Crit is a dieback. Miracle on the make a kill streak as they manage to kill a much of fan in the background, but the rest of Liquid are still going for this base. Now actually going for Moon No Tail, hoping for double dieback. But now, Miracle's back into play with the Ethereal Blade. Mind Control can't even put out damage on the barracks. The melee rack. He's still alive. Heels being used up. Look at the stall of Miracle. For the time being, there is my control. So He's time. slowly but surely being chipped down. Miracle only has so much more mana yet. And finally, a melee rack goes down. Liquid have some objective progression and will back away. Happy with just one. OG, of course, lost a melee rack. And that's critical for them. They want to be able to. Like, I need this.
just another, you know, 15 or 20 waves of this, and I'll have another item. They can't really leave their base. It, it yeah. costs them a little bit too much if they lose one fight outside the base. Especially with all the buybacks down as four. They're actually going to go for the fight outside the base. They're mad leaving initiation on a button. They're going for the pop, but he managed to get off the BKB. The damage is not quite enough. Now it's time to be placed on the moon as Fada continuing to heal up through the spirit side. The moon is definitely going to be jumped on here by the Exorcist. He's going to taken out. Immediately buys back. Jarex has gone for Rubik. And now Fada looks for next. Can they may actually go for Miracle? No Miracle! Too much damage from the Ethereal Blade tag in Fada. An ill choice to try and challenge him. Thought that perhaps the rest of his allies could follow that up. A Miracle gets the kill and escapes. This might win fights. No tail. In a position here. The Scythe device already going out. Primal split. BKBs are immediately used up. They managed to get the duel on Matumba Man, but he's also thrown up in the air. Not quite what the uh, big OG had in mind. They're actually going for the primal split here as Microsoft quickly taking that one out as well as Frit. A nasty engagement that OG tried to force there as Liquid don't lose anything. And they're going to be able to catch three. No buyback on the Doom. Brewmaster or Flies Witch Doctor. Now it may truly be up you to gotta Miracle. You got to push out Miracle. You gotta push out all the lanes before Liquid can get inside the base, but they're gonna meet their creep wave here. The buybacks are up, 15 seconds, 20 seconds for the Brewmaster. Matumba Man takes a lot of damage here from Miracle. Oh, gotta turn down against Matumba Man! Wombo combo! Miracle takes him solo and still manages to stay ahead of mind control. Unbelievable, he may have just saved this one. It's now OG, their buybacks Radiant's are coming back to play. Back. Doom's ready. Four more seconds for the Brewmaster, but the range tracks isn't really Radiant's worth it. Middle. They're gonna wait until Liquid go for more. Liquid did commit the buyback on the low Druid, so this is a little bit dangerous, but they can't kill Matumba Man. They're gonna go for him. Primal Roar already laid up, but unfortunately, Miracle can roll up. He's gonna have to go for Miracle. They've got it. He's gonna have to buy back, and the Blood Throne's not gonna be enough. Derek's still being controlled. He's gonna go down too. Oh, damn. They managed to take out too much. My control does too, does too much. But Miracle's back in play. He's ready to go with the three arm. Looking for Marfada. Was a target for a second, but he had to blink himself away from my control. His grid. He's trying to go for Matumba Man, but obviously, it's too much for him to handle. And now, again, Brewmaster and Doom gone without buyback. This time, not for another six and a half minutes. Miracle standing out in front of OG. Oh, he can take that Vada. He still has buyback. Miracle's being controlled up. They can't afford to lose him, but the damage is too much to get the control. He's down for 60 seconds. Fight the wall now with the help of Moon, but it just doesn't seem to stop like with it. I control Matumba Man. Combo up together, fly into the death ward, but it doesn't matter. Matumba Man manages to take up through it. They're going to go straight for the tier force. They know they have this game in there. Clutches that there's no way that OG can stop them anymore. One of the most frustrating games, she said, that Liquid has played in quite some time, but they still take it. They still take the series 2 0 against OG and will advance into the grand finals. Just too much net worth on all their cores. They distributed farm really well. They made sure even if they lost with Tumba Man at some point, it was next man up. They just couldn't kill the Bristleback as well. OG. No real way to target fire him down, and the two cores on the side of OG eventually started to lose effectiveness. They tried their best there. They committed so many buyback cycles, but just could not hold.